Welcome back to Anno 2205, where we're playing with all DLCs, but most importantly, we're playing with the Taludas New Frontier mod. It only took us 14 episodes, but we are now actually on Mars. We have unlocked all regions, we finished all of the basic missions, getting us, you know, to even robots, and now we are on Mars. We started to develop Mars quickly uh, at the end of the last episode, but today this is going to be you know, the goal, we need to focus on Mars expansion because we have officially reached uh, you know, the 14 new missions that come with this. The first one being the Martian AI research program. We need to reach 5000 Martian synthetics in, you know, in Mars. And with this we will actually get some orbital station you know, bonuses. We'll get a new workshop kit, some modules, etc. So we can actually really upgrade in, in Mars. But yeah, so, you know, just to recap, we have started a small city of here. Uh, I say small, I mean, it is around 2,500. So we need to double this. We have a few of these mines over here, right? You can see the first one over here and two over there. This one is a new one doing diamonds. And we have a couple of productions, mainly in terms of local productions. You see, for example, the research cluster over here. Oh, actually, I see now that there is overlap. That's not good. Sorry, my bad. Uh, my bad. We need to move that outside the radius. And make sure it's connected to the road. Okay. No. Sorry. Okay. Now, why is it only 85% for this one? I don't get it. God, I'm going to have to figure that out in a second. But the other ones at least seems to be... Oh, no. This one is also 85. Okay. Strange, but we have multiple of these research labs, right? Oh, this one is clear why it's missing a bit of methane. I think we're full already. No, we can put one more as long as we get protection in this corner. Yep. Okay. Oh, okay, good. So now we should have enough on this one, but we're still at 85 somehow. Okay. We have therefore, you know, those labs, those different labs. This is taking quite a few of those resources that you can bring or you can make on site, right? So for example, we have over here the tungsten open mine. We have over here the Martian coral breeder. So you can try to do a, a lot of production locally. This will of course require people and require, uh, you know, quite a bit of um, energy too. But this will be a good thing to try to do as much as possible locally because if you don't there is many seasons where you may be affected you may not be able to transport you may get lower yield etc so yeah let's start expanding quickly for example in winter even if you provide everything to your people they won't be fully satisfied and therefore some of them are not going to work you're not going to lose 10 percent of your workforce then we need to have a workforce that's even higher for winter and then there's other season where you can't transfer anything so you know there's definitely that to keep in mind so let's expand our population maybe in this corner here oh so i forgot that the shortcut is somehow not working so you have to place manually those houses okay and over here and we're out of resources already. Uh, and what was... Yeah, it was this one, the maintenance. We put two, so maybe I can just move one on this side. Yeah, let's make sure we have roads to connect these. Okay. Uh, remember, I have a high import, so it should not be a problem to build new ones quickly. Oh, but it's 30 for each. Wow. 
Uh, Stephen Lee. Quite a bit. Oh, no, that doesn't work. Unless I move this one by one tire. Should be fine. Okay. So, I think that's not going to be enough. Probably going to need a few more. So let me just do that offline and I'll see you in a second. So it is, ladies and gents, we have definitely expanded the city. Now we have more than 5,000, 5,200 to be precise. It's going to take 10 minutes for this mission to be over, but hopefully it will be fine. There is one potential problem, which is that we move from the winter now to the spring. And in the spring, while there is some benefits like your diamond extractors work better, there is actually, uh, you know, poor visibility, connect, uh, like you can't see anything, right? <laughs> poor visibility, and therefore your transport cannot land. You can see the red lines here. It says, you know, the transport that I'm usually making uh, to go over here, which are a lot of these resources there, they are not able to be delivered. And I see my service is also low now. Oh, this is because I'm out of cyber thing circuits okay so yeah as i was fearing here it is we've long gone back to being below 5000 so i think we're gonna have to wait until the end of this dust storm for this mission to be over so let me cut to that point okay so now we are in summer and we've been able to finish this first mission fortunately the second mission is asking us for 10,000 now so we need to continue upgrading more but before we do this, let me show you that if I go to the orbital station, I should now have one more workshop available. So yeah, it is. We can see it. One workshop available. Great. So, you know, we can start building something else. Uh, maybe we can put number five for this one. Yeah, right now we have five of these ones, five of these. So that is great. I think I'm going to start working on this too. But most importantly, as we just discussed, we need to make sure to continue upgrading our population over there. Oh, and I see missing a bit of circuits. Why? No, it's not this one. It's this one that I was looking at. Where are the circuits uh, to do here? Okay, I need 25. Oh, this is from the new um, this is from the new uh, workshop that we put. But yeah, let me upgrade again the production, the number of people, um, and all of this. And I'll see you in a few minutes. Here it is, ladies and gents. We are on the next summer. So we have solar flares that you know make uh, the transfer energy difficult, but at least we have the resources and no mines that are stopped or whatnot. I've expanded the city on this side, right? And so we now need to wait 10 minutes for this one to be finished. Okay, it's done. And I should have known the next mission is to get to 15,000. Maybe I'm just gonna get to 20 just to be safe. But yeah, we have, you know, a couple of seasons to prepare for this before summer. And I'll see you again in a few minutes. Okay, three seconds. We are at 15,000 and the next is 20. I knew I should have just went to 20. <laughs> okay, let's go to 20 now. And the reason, you know, I didn't go to 20, by the way, is not just because I was lazy. It's because this thing costs a lot, right? It is 150,000 for each house. It is 30 of the plating for each house, right? And it's also some of the uh, very special resource, right? The graphene, uh, etc. Those resources over here, right? The magnetite, the graphene uh, is one of each. So it costs a lot. It's the next day, ladies and gents. And after 20,000, they asked me for 25,000. After 25, 30,000. Now 35,000. We have 30 seconds on the clock remaining. So Let's see what happens. Are they going to ask us to go to 40,000 or not? The good thing is that, you know, with each of these missions, I do get one workshop kit. So I've started to, yeah, 40,000. Okay. So yes, I'm going to continue, but I did want to show you that indeed I've started to uh, continue to expand my orbital station and that we're getting more and more of, you know, these uh, modules. So in the past, we had over here the five electricity one. Then I have actually added three of these electronics one, the so one, two, and three. Uh, I have pushed in the corner these ones. Uh, don't uh, 
okay <laughs> you know don't look at them they're just for now temporary i have also put five of the agricultural one this is completely new and as you can see they are all at almost optimal level um there's just missing a bit of greenhouse so i may be able to improve it even further into the future we have another one there too and now as as I was saying, I'm starting to look into the biotechs one. What should we do? There is also here these ones, the heavy industry hall. I haven't looked at them yet at all, right? But yeah, I'm starting to use some of these research. And in particular, as I was saying, you know, with five agricultural one, I've been using the points to increase my agricultural production. So, you know, plus 10% over here, for example. Then we have two additional modules per farm if we want. Here we have minus 20% consumption for the food goods, but plus five for vitamins and vita pills. So there's a, a few research, you know, that we've been doing. But uh, let me continue expanding this. It is actually going to be full pretty soon. So I don't know, uh, you know, how high we're gonna go. Oh my God, I'm not gonna lie, a bit of time has passed. And as you can see, the Mars crater is now quite full not completely full but quite full of people quite full of production we have actually reached more than 65,000 people on mars and you know we're talking about 50 in each right this is the max it's 50 in each so i have tons of workforce as you can see nothing for that workforce to do but still it's there and it is not the final uh, you know i haven't finished there is still one more mission Mission 14 out of 14 is to reach 70,000. So basically, you know, uh, if we look over here, there is still a bit of space there, a bit of space there. And then I think we may have to delete some of those production there. Uh, let me talk about those production in a second. But yeah, I think we're going to have to do that. If we want to reach 70 because I basically don't have any productions over here. This is only uh, houses, only the maintenance station for services and a couple of uh, solar panel arrays to get some energy. But you can see it's not even that many. And then the only place that are empty, you know, are craters like this where you cannot even put anybody. But the key thing I did want to show you is yeah, I have started to make some production on site because with the seasons where there's so many times where you can't get resource in, it is a problem. And also why the second reason why I did this is because you start getting uh, needed so much of this cybernetics. Let me show you how much we need. We need 560 right now. So I'm producing more than 500 locally and importing 60 how we do this production well there's actually a great mechanic where you know with the research labs you can see this biotech research lab is going to make some circuits and by the way it's also making a bit of uh, expertise so that's pretty cool but yeah it's making the those, those cybernetics using the nutrient powder and the silicon so you could import those two things and then make this locally but even better you can also make those two things locally you know you can make uh, Sorry, not this one. And not this one. Yeah. You can make the silicon by using some uh, springs and some rare earth elements. The rare earth elements, remember, you were getting on uh, the crater when it's not <laughs> autumn. In autumn, they don't work, but the rest of the year, they work. And then similarly, you know, we have this one over here to make the nutrients, where you can make the moss and the deep water coral. Now you can even make the deep water coral and the moss locally. Similarly, you can make you know the prims locally, etc. So you could do everything locally. The problem is if you do that, one is it costs a lot of money, and two is there's not gonna be enough space. You know, I'm already almost out of space, and I don't have any of those productions that, like let's call it base production. The only one I'm doing is basically the biotech one to make the things and then I have some for nutrients and for silicons so that's what you can see over here all of these are the biotech all of these are the silicon one right and then all of these are the nutrients ones there's still a bit of space there to expand um, here this is actually there's a crater but yeah this is the space where we're gonna put a few more house and the great thing too is that actually when you build those research labs, they do cost quite a lot, you know, 4,500, 175 people and 150 
of energy. But when you add those Martian storage platform, you increase the production rate by 10%, which is great. But most importantly, you decrease the maintenance by 15%. So when you have put, you know, the full number of those modules, six, you actually get to a very low amount of people, of energy and of maintenance. Because, you know, I was getting lower and lower on money. I was getting a bit scared there. But yeah, that's how I've been doing it. Of course, we had also, you know, to expand all of the uh, production that we're bringing, right? We need to bring quite a few of these IntelliWare, quite a few of these neural interfaces, right? Because otherwise it would be negative. Similarly for the bio, what is it? Biotech, uh, bio enhancers, right? We need to bring many. We need to bring also tons of construction bot because that's the on other uh, required resource for the which one is it for the Cibern? No, this is for oh, for this one, yeah, for the maintenance station, right? You need a lot of construction bots and the Cibers circuits so yeah that's why we have all of this don't hesitate to tell me in the comments below you know if you have any question or thoughts on mars it has definitely as i was saying been uh, a bit of a, a challenging thing i mean they cost like tons of money remember each of these single houses cost 150,000, 30 of the plating 50 of the robots and all of the special resources then these things are even more you know, look at this one. This is 1,075,000 plating. So this took me a while, you know, to get enough money. I think if I were to redo it again, or if I'm, you know, if you're following along, what I suggest is you should actually develop more. Like get uh, all of the temperate region to be full of people. And then, you know, you, you probably have a, a profit balance at that point that is like plus 2 million. And then it would be a lot easier to have huge productions going into this one. So yeah, I guess I made a bit of a mistake here. But I still hope you enjoyed this episode. I know it was a bit strange just moving from one mission to the next. But I didn't want you to have to wait, you know, literally tens of hours. <laughs> but I'll see you very soon for what will probably be the final episode of this series with the Taludas mod, where we need to do two things, two very important things. The first one is to finish, finish um, Terra Elysium, right, Mars. But most importantly, I want to also do the orbital station because we've been unlocking more and more of the workshops. So we should be able to have sort of all of the workshops and maybe a lot of expertise, right, and get almost all of the research unlocked. So that's going to be the goal. Thank you for watching. Smash like button and I hope to see you next time.